Now that one is called Getting On Home and it's about he and his drunk friend and they were trying to get on home and get into the house without anybody knowing but his drunk friend passed out and so he is standing on the top of something, I imagine a door jam, trying to get into a window and he's got his trees and his uh, critters all around and a snake uh, but that was his getting on home and that he did that what is it hard rock cafe in new orleans um commissioned him to do a series of paintings and um, then they came up and they chose which ones they wanted uh, that is what he calls a boycott bus because there's nobody in it and when the you know the bus boycott back in the 60s was it none of the blacks were riding on the bus because they didn't want to ride in the back anymore but if he drew a bus and it had people in it it was a freedom bus because anybody could ride in it that is a window and he took out his bathroom windows and put in new ones and these are all the animals he liked to do that's a horse a turtle a snake a cat the other one is a combination between an elephant and a camel with a kangaroo tail the bottom he, he painted on anything. At first he used to send his um, sons out around the neighborhood picking up old bits of scrap because the neighborhood was falling to pieces. But when he made it in his mind, it was because he was being paid enough to be able to afford to send his sons to the lumber yard and pick up pre-cut pieces of wood. And that, you know, you know, you know that's after he made it. <laughs> and that's another window. And one is fishing, one is a helicopter. I'm not quite sure what that is, but he said it was a bus. And the, the two at the bottom are buses, and they're boycott buses, and then there's one of a taxi, a yellow cab. So those are his electric slide dancers. He's supposed to be one of them, but it was before his accident. And they're all doing the electric slide. That's one of his famous snakes. <laughs> it's a very long one and it's a turtle and I don't know whether it's going to eat the turtle or not but he would fill up a board and just do all sorts of wonderful designs that really were nothing and then you put a head on it and dots in it and it would become a snake and you notice he always quote framed his pictures because they were all on these bits of wood and he drew the frame around and um, he also mounted them by using uh, beer top cans and he would get a, an ordinary shoe tack and the cans from his beer, pull the top off and hammer it in and, um, and there you are, you had it ready to hang. I had some that I bought when they were wet so he always gave me the hangers and he, he used to laugh, he'd say you're the only person who buys my paintings when they're wet but you knew they were his because he had the paint colors all over his hands and most of the paintings I have I watched him paint or I know the history of them and that is a fox dog and it's got part of a tree of life and it's a it, snake no that's another tree of life isn't it he had a very peculiar idea of what dogs were like its tail is longer than its body but it was a fox dog and that's his I think he called it a Heflocamel or Heflophant or something like that and it's a combination of it looks like an elephant with a hump and then it's got the tail of something else which I think he said was a kangaroo and I don't think he'd ever seen any of these creatures <laughs> oh and that's Jonah the whale the big fish that swallowed Jonah he tried to draw Jonah inside the whale but that didn't turn out quite right and this is Adam and Eve and it's got the um, snake and birds and all sorts of things in there and she's covering herself up with a, a fig leaf. They're self-portraits, he says, of Adam and Eve but also of his wife Willie May and him. He liked to do biblical stories too. And that is a lady with by a tree. And he, again, he says it's Willie May um, and she's by the tree of life. And that is an angel. We didn't do very many of these. I think he did about seven. Where you see blotches on it, it often is not, um, didn't really mean anything, but he had spilt paint on the painting and so he turned it into something, like a flower or a fish or whatever. And that's another angel, done about the same time. And that is Adam 
and he's stomping on the snake. And that's a very old picture of his. It was upstairs in his attic. And he hadn't been upstairs in his attic in ages. And he sent me up to look for something else, and I found quite a few treasures up there, and so he sold them to me. <laughs> And he called those Siamese twins, but he didn't realize that they're always the same sex. So he's got uh, a lady and a man and his usual birds and snake. And that is lady going to church. And she's all dollied up and she's got earrings and a hat and a handbag. And you could tell the ladies going to church from his, quote, fancy ladies, because they didn't have the hat, the earrings and the handbag. They were just um, women who were out to take a man for what they could get. And that's another lady going to church. One of them is supposed to be Willie Mae. That's Mose, and that, I think, has hair on it, doesn't it? Something from his haircut. And you, know, you can tell he's crippled. And, um, but he, he liked to stick his own hair on things. And that's another self-portrait. He always did himself just sort of standing there. And another... To get to know him was to love him. And whether you actually liked his work or not, the fact that it, Mose had done it, and it was part of Mose, and it was Mose laying his very simple soul out there. And once I got going with this collection, I, I became addictive. <laughs>